YouTube, I'm back again with another video. I'm actually going to be doing my fourth deck profile for One Piece. As you can see, I'm playing the Red Sanji leader, which I managed to pull from the Premium Booster, and I'm happy I did since I bought two of the Red Whitebeard starter decks. And if you guys are curious, I'll read his leader effect because during the main, once per turn, you can target up to one of your characters without an on play effect. And with a cost of 8 or less, it gains rush during the turn. So, the re so basically, the purpose behind this effect, you play a lot of characters that don't have on play abilities that have the, like, uh, the cost 8 or less on, and you can be able to attack with them. So I think this synergizes with the uh, White Beard card, so I would consider this more of a Red Sanji White Beard uh, Pirate deck. Simply because of the with the strategies I can implement with the stack and I, how I can actually push uh, for more like board presence as well as having to power up my weaker characters. As you are going to figure out while we proceed with the deck profile, so starting off we're maxing out on our 2k counter uh, thatch from ST15. Um, unfortunately, you're never going to really use the on play ability. It's mainly to search with your Ezo, which you'll see after. Um, but it's only useful like unless you have white beard. But the whole purpose one is so that you can have a searchable 2k with Ezo. As you guess, we're maxing on Ezo. You look at the top five cards. Uh, from the top of your deck, reveal up to one card that includes a white beard pirate besides Ezo, add to your hand, then place the rest at the bottom of your deck in any order. We're also maxing out on our blocker, uh, King Dude. He has the ability when this card is KO'd by an effect up to one of your leader gains 2000 power during this turn, so it's until the end of your opponent's turn, or it could be till the end of your turn so basically it's powering them up as long as King Du is KO'd whether it might be during your turn or your opponent's turn. We're also maxing out on Backrat. The logic behind this card is because we're not allowed we're not really playing that many 2Ks since we're only playing eight and uh I'm having issues accessing the uh Otamas from OP1, the red 2K counter. But this card can actually really help, not only because it's a blocker, but it can turn your one of your cards from your hand into a 2k counter. So basically how this works, if your opponent attacks, you may trash one card from your hand up to one of your leader or character cards gains um, 2000 power during that battle. And you'll start to notice we're actually playing more vanillas in this deck. We're going to be maxing out on Nomule. Um, the reason behind that because Again, with Red Sanji, you can turn him into a character with Rush, although he may be a vanilla. A vanilla. This essentially helps uh, hit your opponent early game as much as you can, so you can actually make sure to get rid hit, like, target their life and, like, do as much damage so that you are not being, like, slowed down or, you know, you're not really taking up your time, so you get straight forward with this deck and basically push as much as you can um so i'm sorry about this so as i was saying basically you play this card or like any vanilla that is searchable with Ezo, just in case you want to be able to hit your opponent as much as you as possible to make sure to finish the game that much quicker and the card that will actually help give this deck more power as we are playing Raku, which happens to be also from the star deck. It's a 3 cost with 4k power. So and what makes this card even incredible is that uh, during your turn, and again against Rush because of Sanji, if he has a Dawn attaches card, all of your characters with the white white with the white beard pirates type card gains a thousand power. So any of your characters that happens to be a white beard pirates immediately outright gains a thousand. So if you were to have at least more than one it can even it can like double triple red core card quadruple and power all your characters that happen to be with white beard and literally it can actually do heavy amount of damage the more the more 
copies you play Raku Rakuyu simply because I get a gauge rush because of Sanji on top of that it makes all your smaller wiper pirates into heavy beat sticks and speaking of another heavy beat stick we're playing the vanilla speed jump not much to explain it gains rush because of Sanji but it's actually a stronger version of Namule but having a 6k body going like going like like turn 2 can really help so because it can really provide you a lot of pro board presence as well as like take advantage of your opponent um, obviously we're playing and we're maxing out on the Marco blocker which happens to be a 4 cost um, not much is to say about this card people a lot of people should be familiar with this um, again if it's KO'd uh, you may trash one card with the type including white beard pirates for man if you have two or less life cards you play this card for be trash rested so essentially it's like you're retrieving your blocker after it's been killed so it's not once per turn so anytime he dies as long as you trash one you can you, you essentially keep having a blocker just in case just to make sure to uh, as much coverage against your opponent as possible on top of that uh, not only adding more defense you're adding more offense because Sanji again enabling the ability to give your cards rush but being able to block your, your opponent's stats just in case you have some sort of concern that they might be able to like get rid of your life as well as hit you wide open but again another 2k that we're maxing on is Jozu simply again can be searched by Izo um, you, again, you're not going to really use this card's ability, and it only works unless your leader happens to be white paper pirates. But having a searchable 2k is a very essential sim because a lot of the 2k's you're really just going to like trash from your hand in order to counter your opponent's attacks. Outside of the white beard archetype, we're playing uh, two copies of Wapple, and this card is very essential because. Um, I noticed some of the deck profiles have been playing it, but I think um, having two copies really helps because it, it adds more space as well as more options. But I'll read what how his effect works. Basically, if you attach him with the Dawn, you can give up to one of your opponent's characters minus 2,000 during that turn. Then this card gains plus 2,000 power until the end of your opponent's turn. So he basically ha becomes a 9k or not even 9k becomes an 8k body during your opponent's turn so the dawn is only your turn that he, get, he becomes 9k but uh, during your opponent's turn it becomes 8k so just in case like you want it gives literally gives your wapple protection and that minus 2000 will come in, come in use afterwards as you'll see why and him already being 9k proves how effective this deck can be and we're obviously going to max out on Edward Newgate from ST15 he actually again has synergy with our Wapple um, because of the minus two zones and I'll explain why uh, but his on play ability is that you can give up to one rested dawn card to your leader or, or one of your character cards um, Unfortunately, because he has an on play ability, he, you cannot use Sanji to be able to give him rush. But the main reason behind that is because you activate this card during your main, you may rest this character, KO up to one of your opponent's characters with 5,000 powerless. So essentially, how this works with Wapple is that there might be times your opponent might have a, a blocker with, with a 6k or 7k power and then it, be, it makes that 7k or 6k into like 4k 5k and you'll use white beat either to most likely get rid of blockers or to get rid of their like like the active character that may be able to potentially hit you um basically getting rid of most of your life or might possibly kill you so he is mainly there not only because of just the removal but being able to like benefit off of Wapple's effect as well as getting rid of more blockers or potential threats later in the game. And now, now we're going to our Luffy cards. We're just playing two uh, Monkey D. Luffy from Kingdoms of Intrigue. Um, mainly because 
this card has the ability banish so again he is another uh, rush target for Mitsanji but basically what banish does is that uh, if he attacks the leader uh, it gets rid of the life card as well as it doesn't uh, it well as well as like it does not enable them to use trigger which basically essentially gets rid of the trigger so the moment you play monkey d luffy not only are you trashing their life if he manages to mount the attack and deal damage but they won't be able to activate trigger afterwards and we're also playing um the luffy from st20 again has rush but i managed to get two copies from uh, the treasure cruise uh, set uh, hopefully i'm saying that right but not only because this character has rush on its own you don't really need sanji for this card but again it's another strong removal so basically once per turn when your opponent activates blocker you can k up to one of your opponent's characters with 8,000 power or less so just in case you might have a you want to be able to finish off your opponent whenever they type to activate blocker although they might have some 2k counters but you can also use this this uh method by having to get rid of either a problematic character and again synergize with your wapo so it could turn again wapo could turn a 9k a 10k to 7k or 8k power character and you can be able to uh dismount the threat with monkey do luffy's ability or you can just get rid of the blocker to potentially game your opponent and we're just playing our final card what happens to be our only event which we're maxing out on and to help us potentially win free games speaking of uh we're playing fury fury doll during the main your leader gains 4000 power during this turn and trigger you can give up to one of your opponent's leader or character cards minus 10,000 power during this turn so this card again is very flexible this actually does serve a purpose in red sanji simply because not only are you giving your character rush but you can actually make the deck more problematic by not only making your character have rush but powering up your leader by 4,000 making him uh, into a 9k body from the jump so that it ensures your victory but on top of that you can use this trigger in order to like make threatening characters whether it may be high ends have essentially 0 to 11 to take a power so that it gives you that opportunity not only to protect your life but to like finish off your opponent next turn once you have that opportunity but I feel like I said enough you guys overall I was only able to build this deck profile on this other uh, one piece platform which unfortunately I can't be able to access some cards in the previous uh, one piece deck builder but this was really able to help me out and be able to discuss the deck profile a lot more easier and you guys will be able to get uh, a analysis as well as a perfect um, example of what cards you can use in order to play your own uh, variety of decks and potentially be able to implement your own strategy that not many people are worth and so that you can be proud of your own accomplishments but overall I feel like I said enough you guys Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to check for more upcoming content later in the future. Be sure to check your notifications. Comment, like, subscribe. Thank you.